Uh, I think Dominic's going to speak to us again if he's... Uh... Ah, right. Right then, where's Lair? Shut up. Where do I have to move to? Well, it gets worse then. Well, it should be a bit uh... Right. Right, I think, every, does everybody know Lynn? Lynn's out there basically seven days a week, looking after wildlife. Um, it was actually mentioned yesterday, um, well, hold on, Lynn's speaking tomorrow. How come? It, why isn't she out subbing? Lynn is out basically every day of the week. She was out yesterday, probably the day before that, the day before that. Today it was decided, quite legitimately, that she was better here saving lives in the next 12 months, because that's what it'll do. Being here today, with the activities that are taking place here today, will be saving lives for the following 12 months. In Herefordshire, this autumn maybe, so it isn't just a matter of tackling it on the right on the front line. There's all different, right the way through, ways of saving lives. Lynn is out there seven days a week doing that. Is Lynn. Hi. Uh, thanks for those kind words, Nigel. It's not quite seven days a week. Um, Six and a half. Well, uh, so... Um, I'm then from the local SAB group, uh, Three Counter SABs. Um, I just say a few words about the culls that have been going on. Um, obviously, we have the Gloucestershire cull. Uh, it's got another year left of the pilot, so next year that will carry on. And then we've got two new cull zones adjoining that, potentially. I cannot emphasise enough the need for set surveying and getting to know those new areas. It is absolutely vital. Um, in Gloucestershire, we don't just turn up when the cold starts. People are out there all the time. There's people here in this crowd that are out there all the time, checking sets in their neighborhood, keeping an eye out, reporting to the police when they find block sets, trash sets, sets with diesel poured down them. This is an all year round job. And it is absolutely essential that people get there, out there, on the ground, and look for these sets in these new prospective coal zones. And as Nigel said, there is a store here. You can sign up today and just get out there, especially if you live in this area. It's a lovely place to stay if you want to travel down and uh, stay for a week or so and get some sets of aim done. So please, please sign up. Um, so we've got quite a task ahead on that, um, and it's also considering what we do next year, wherever people are. You know, you may have, have your area in Gloucestershire, you might want to go somewhere else. Um, lots to think about, but the sets of aim, boots on the ground now, tomorrow. Don't do it in the dark after you've finished here, but, you know, get out there. Um, the other thing that's interesting about Herefordshire is, uh, for those of you don't, that don't know, uh, some of the uh, Gloucestershire zone covers Herefordshire as well. So um, we, have, we have been in bits of Herefordshire already in the last three years, uh, protecting badges there. Um, our group, we are out, we're out quite a lot. We've been out several times this week. Um, Saturday isn't the only day that hunts go out. They go out six days a week in this area. You can find a hunt any day of the week, unless, unless it's a Sunday. And um, hunts like to block up badger sets, and we've seen um, a lot of that in Herefordshire, uh, with the Ross Harriers and the uh, South Herefordshire hunt. And uh, so we know, we know about a few of them already, and we know that they are under attack. It isn't just the hunt, it's the badger baiters, it's uh, people that don't want them on their land for whatever reason and uh, they will be going out there and doing all sorts of uh, harmful things so it is absolutely essential to find sets protect them and get on with that 
we have footage um, of foxhounds in the cold zones marking badger sets. So there they are, foxes escape down the set, and there's a hound pouring away, trying to get into the set to get the fox. And then they're running all over land where there's uh, beef cattle and dairy cattle. It doesn't take a genius to work out that that is a major transmitter of um, disease. And therefore, we should also be, be challenging this and uh, making our MPs know there are many people who can't get in the field for whatever reason. And uh, it's good to get out there, get onto your MPs, fundraise, get onto uh, the newspapers. Letters pages are a fantastic way of uh, getting your message across, especially in the local press. Especially in the local press, that is absolutely vital. Um, I'll just close by just stressing yet again, surveying is the key to winning this in the field. It is the absolute key. So please, please volunteer to help doing that. It doesn't matter if you don't know what to do. Somebody will show you. Okay.